Each of us has a different vocation story, and there's as many vocation stories as there are sisters. And one day, I was just watching a basketball game in our high school, and all of a sudden, just thought just flew through my head. I wonder if I'm called to be a sister. Now, please, don't ask me why that would happen at a basketball game, but somehow, maybe the Holy Spirit threw me a little dart in the middle of the ball game, and I started to think along those lines. I'm an only child, even though my mother would have loved grandchildren. They supported me, which is extremely important. When I graduated college in June, that September, I entered the Carmelite Sisters. Even though I was born into a Catholic family, we weren't particularly strict Catholics. My mom, she was very laid back. Both my parents practiced an incredible gift of hospitality. So this little Canadian nun came to live with us for a year. I was 16 at the time. I think that was my first significant encounter with God because she related to God as a person. I knew I was going to be a sister and I was going to serve God in some way. Women don't come into religious life fully formed. The process of becoming a sister, it takes time. So I always say I've been trying for 34 years to be a Carmelite sister, but I haven't found anything else better, so I'm going to keep trying. I think it's tough to be in any kind of relationship. Being a sister is a relationship with the Lord, and you have to work at any relationship. And we not only have the relationship with the Lord in prayer, we have the relationship with each other in community, and that can be difficult. It's never easy. I mean, it's amazing to me that with 38 women, there's never been a murder. I'm going to punch somebody in their face. We're not saints. You know, I think Pope Francis recently said that the church is not a museum for for saints. It's a school for sinners, and I think that applies to religious life as well. I'm broke. But you're not alone, Asini, because all of us are broken. I think what makes a good sister today is to have a passion about what you're doing and also to be the best version of yourself. We don't want women who are cookie cutter images of somebody else. We want women to be fully themselves. Many of the women have professions, they've lived alone, they've had cars, apartments, they have all this financial portfolios. In our time, we had to leave that behind before you entered. Now, individuals allowed to keep that until final profession. Well, look at you. <laughs> this is the future of the church, and the church needs vocations, not necessarily in religious life. We need good mothers, we need good single women, no matter where God calls them to be. They are the future of our church.